Okay, I'ma tell y'all a story about how my customer tried to scale me while I turned this Dickies work shirt into a taller jumpsuit. Okay, so the, from the beginning, I could already tell that she was kind of going to be an issue because she was just one of those people who wanted to check on their order every day. Like the day after she ordered it, she wants to know, are you done yet? I'm like, you just ordered yesterday. How can I possibly be done? I make handmade items. I'm not a factory. I'm one person. But okay, whatever. That wasn't a big deal. So I finally get done with her order and I ship it off. And I let her know that I shipped it off. I sent her her tracking information and all that. Prior to me sending it off too, I had sent her a picture of the outfit. So she knew what everything looked like. And she's like, oh my God, I love it. Blah, 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 blah. You did such a great job. Whatever. So my shipping is pretty fast. It's like two to three days. I ship priority. But the day comes for her to receive her package on the day that she's supposed to receive her package. It's the weekend, so I'm not really checking my messages like that. So I finally check my messages, and I have so many messages from her where she's calling me a scammer, a liar. You tried to scam me, blah, blah, blah. Keep in mind, I sent her a picture of the outfit. Why would I make an outfit and not send it? And remember, I said that she had received a tracking number. So what I did was I went and tracked the package before even replying to her. So once I tracked it, it said delivered. So I'm like, okay. So after I seen that, I went and I looked to see where it was delivered at. Because, you know, sometimes it tells you if it was handed to a resident, delivered on the porch or whatever. So I guess because she lives in an apartment, her mailman left her package in her apartment complex's office for, you know, security reasons or whatever. So I screenshot it and I send it to her and she sends me a message like 10 minutes later, like, OK, got it. Thank you. And sends me a picture that she has it and that she liked it even more in person. So I'm like, OK, we're good. I thought we were good. Two hours later, I receive an email from PayPal that she disputed the charge, but it gets even better.